Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to play music or stream music to your Xbox One as my old video uh, was very popular. However, that method no longer works sadly. So basically I'm just going to get straight to it because, you know, I love the feedback that you guys give me. I'm not going to get into that. So basically on your Xbox One. You're going to want to start out on your home screen, obviously, when don't you? And then you want to go to the store uh, section. And then go down to search. You gotta love how fast this is. This, this, uh, I don't believe works on Android, sadly. Um, so basically, the app name that you want is Error I believe it's Air Player. No, 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 Air Server, my bad. Air Server Xbox Edition. Okay, so you're going to want to download this app. Now this is $20. Let me just say that first of all. However... There is a free trial. I believe it's two weeks long. If you really like it, you should get it. I think it's worth the $20, to be honest with you. I mean, this is a little steep of a price, but it's worth it. So basically, you're going to want to launch it. There's me. Hi, me. <laughs> so stupid. Okay, so it's going to be opening this little browser type thing right here. Okay. Now, basically, uh, you can do a few different things here. You can either stream your music to this only, which, of course, many of you are going to want to do. Or you can stream your device's screen to this in case you got friends over and you want to show them, like, you know, you playing a game on your phone or, like, pictures or something. They'll all show up on this TV. I'll show you how to do that on the second part of this video. However, the first part, we're just focusing on music. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the recording here. And then I'm going to record my phone screen to show you exactly what to do. Okay? Sounds good? Alright, perfect. Okay, so on the iPhone side of things, you're going to want to open your music provider. Whatever that is, Apple Music, Spotify, SoundCloud, you know, anything. Okay, so I have Apple Music. I'm just going to use this as an example. We're going to set the volume to zero so I don't get copyright strikes because that would be bad. And then you're going to want to play the song, obviously. And then this part is Apple, spe Apple Music specific only. However, I'll show you how to do it with the other apps as it's kind of a different uh, way. So basically, you're going to want to press this middle button right here and then you're going to want to press whatever 720p 60 or 1080p 30 whatever works best for you by the way this has to be on the same wi-fi as your xbox otherwise it won't work no bluetooth is required um the reason it says albino dino is because that's the name of my xbox uh, if you don't know how to change that, you can look it up. <laughs> Sorry, I don't really want to show you that in this video. Um, so basically, you know, just press one. On Air Server, it should just show the album art, and then it will play it in the background. Uh, there's a lip. There's some issues sometimes. We're gonna have to reopen the app. It's barely ever though, you know. And then basically for the other apps like Spotify and SoundCloud, since they don't have that little toggle right there, you're going to want to slide up on Control Center on iOS 11, and then long press or 3D touch the top right platter, and then you're going to want to select this button right here, the top right button, and you're going to want to stream it to the same two options, 720p60 or 1080p30, I found that the speaker icon does not work very well. It doesn't transfer the music as as efficient as it should. So it's easier to 
use the Apple TV icon ones as it usually works out better. Now, screen mirroring onto your Apple TV, it's a little different, okay? Now that we got the music out of the way, if you're playing that in the background in your Xbox, if you just want to show your friends some pictures or I don't know what you want to do, you 3D touch or long press on the screen mirroring option, and then you're going to want to select one of these two, and your screen will pop up on your Xbox. You know, you can do whatever. Uh, videos have a little bit of lag to them, and there's a little uh, difference in latency, but other than that, you should be all good to go. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on Twitter. Uh, that is the same username as my YouTube channel, at the Albino Dino, two E's on the. And uh, yeah, if you can't hit me up on Twitter, I'll be checking comments regularly because I love helping you guys as you guys are helping me grow my channel. So thank you for watching this, and I hope it all goes smooth. Peace.